Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to direct to Heartstopper Season 3, Episode 2. I'm very excited to watch this, you guys. I really loved the first episode and I'm trying to watch as many as I can before next week comes and Out of Banks Season 4 starts. So I'm trying to like just get as much as I can this weekend. So I'm trying to at least get three done. Um, But yeah, that means if you go check out Patreon, the link is down below in the description box. You can get ahead right now. If you're watching this on YouTube, I'm at least two to three ahead on Patreon. Maybe more. It depends on how much I get these next two weekends, how much I get done. But, um, because it's only eight episodes, so it's not that much. But, yeah, so go check that out. Also, don't forget to like, subscribe, and all that other stuff. Um, so, yeah, that's all I have to say. I'm really excited to get into this and watch the next episode. So, without further ado, here we go. Oh, here we go. Uh, nephew, yep, that's our aunt. You're packed, ready to go? Yeah. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, it's a shame Mum had to pull out. Yeah, well, there's always next year. I want Olivia Coleman. Hopefully, hopefully she comes back next season. <laughs> they love each other. How far away does his aunt and uncle live? Oh, so he's not going where his aunt and uncle lives. He's going on a trip that he's supposed to go with his mom too, but his mom can't go now. Alright, stop staring at your phone, buddy. I love you. Now that he said he can't stop. It's okay, I'll wait three weeks and then you'll see him in three weeks. Oh. Is that the kind of thing to text, though? I don't know. But exactly all day. Home. Hey, Charlotte, you have to find something else to do besides Nick. <laughs> something else to focus on. Yeah. And he said it back. Yeah. Knew it. Told you. Yeah. <laughs> Shut up. He's worried about you. And you gotta be honest with yourself, Charlie. He said that he was worried that I think <sighs> <sighs> it was the bad timing. Hey. Made it, yeah? Uh yeah, we just got here. I think I'm a little bit sunburnt already. <laughs> The villa's huge. Ooh, it's pretty. Charlie, I don't see any tidy. Hang on. Oh. Nick, I... Great. Okay. It's not her fault. We need to have a talk about Nick anyway. You shouldn't be staying late around his house. You're too young to be having sex. What? Oh. We're not. Oh. Charlie, I'm not stupid. You came home yesterday wearing his But they're not. Because I... After the whole mission, I'm just, I'm worried. I'm worried that you're putting a boy over everything else. Over yourself. I Can't do remember. see that worry that she has. That's not what I said. Mum, you're literally making a problem out of nothing. I'm only saying this because mm. I'm worried about him. Well, I, he's mm, I don't disagree. Me, so I guess you've got nothing to... Can you please not undermine me like that in front of him? You were being too harsh. She I does. I said the wrong thing to him. Mm, you do come off very harsh, though. Like, right off the bat, there's another way to say it. Better way. Are you messaging friends? Uh, no, I was just trying to talk to... Oh. Are you out to your aunt? I was just talking to my boyfriend. Ah... Uh, your boyfriend? Well, we have a lot to catch up on. Yeah, I guess so. How about once I've unpacked, you give me the full story over a glass of bread and some breadsticks? I love it. Yeah. So now, wine person, more tequila. Week one. So we're going to go through all the weeks in this episode. Hi. Hi. Oh, these two. 11 o'clock on the dot. When was the last time these two have. Hung out. I do. Hmm. Oh, the result of the test. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my. Morning all. Oh, uh, morning. Leave. You are playing a very dangerous game. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
fun though. Oh, I know. Dangerous can but always be fun. Kids find out. I know. So all these two actually together together? Not too good. This is Come trying in. not to show it. That's the spirit, big man. Time to get it over with. You know, GCSEs, they don't matter that much anyway. You know, there's A-levels and then there's uni. And I think you're more like... stressed about this than I am. I know, I feel that, yeah. <laughs> yes, you are. But we'll go to the park and have some snacks. I'll personally fight any examiner who gives you a bite. Uh, maybe not. Can I just get a good look kiss? You absolute weirdo. <laughs> he is a weirdo. Good luck, you two. And remember... Bad grades aren't the worst thing. Oh, the grandma? I love school at 14. Look at me now. <laughs> Thriving. Thank you, grandma. <laughs> and let me know what day you want to move in. I'm getting your room ready. Aw, she seems really sweet. Really a drug. <laughs> I can't wait. <laughs> okay, love, love her already. Icon. Fantastic. Good for her. My lord. Well, you're the smartest person in the world, so I think you will. Shut up. Okay. Where's Nick? That's Nick. Great. Oh, you're getting Nick's for him. This is like you grab your scores, like they don't check. You know, you grab anyone's. Yes! Oh my god, I get into drama! <laughs> well, there's no surprise there. <laughs> uh. What? Oh no, did she, did she not do so well? Oh god. Let's see what nine, nine okay. Looked good. I hope you'll be joining our Roxbridge prep group in September. Uh. And this is like so what level you'll go into when you get into school next year. So well. Exams mean nothing. <laughs> Amen. I love her. All right, so it's like the grade cl classes he'll be in. Wait, Charlie just texted. I passed all my GCSEs. Hey, that's nice. yes. Woo! Good for you. Never We're not surprised, are we? No. Mm -hmm. We really need to meet Charlie. Yes. I'm dying to know what he's like. You have to. They, bring these guys seem a little bougie. Approval. Hmm? Well, you could bring him on holiday next year if he survives one of our hikes in 35 degrees and oh. passes the test. Oh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's a no for me. Uh, 35 degrees, yes. Um. Hike? Hmm, no. Oh, he's imagining Charlie being there with him and his family. Oh, and then he thinks about the food. Oh. I wish a guy could send me a picture like that. We're all going to Nando's to celebrate results. Nando's? Yes. My God. I totally forgot. Me and I were gonna go to the park. I kind of have to start packing. When did we discuss Nando's? Mm -hmm. Another time. I, I promise we'll, we'll do. No, Nando's. Just... Sorry. No, that's the worst. Making plans with people and then they just like ditch you. I guess it's just you and me then. Okay. Nah, we're good. Another time. Oh. Yeah, definitely. Oh, I just want to hug him. Everyone else is all coupled up. And he's all alone. It's he's the I'm the him of my group of friends always. Dinner's ready. I'm not hungry. I'll eat later. Will you? You're abandoning me again. I don't want to see mum. Honestly, I could I get that. He's so self conscious. Oh, I want to just lighten up. Oh no, I, I, I say it, but it's also I'm not good at that either. My self conscious as well. Okay, well on week two. Oh is he just responding very little? You look like a lovesick puppy, dear nephew. <laughs> yes. I am diagnosing you with a severe case of smitten. 
and growing symptoms of She hepatitis. looks so good. I don't think that's a real thing, unfortunately. Well, I am a qualified psychiatrist, so actually I'm Oh, ah, okay. That's why she's got the money. Do you ever treat people with eating disorders? Sometimes. Oh, talk with her about it. So it tends to go hand in hand with other things. Yeah. A nice poster of a handsome boy up there. Uh, uh, awkward. Friend. Yeah. <laughs> Your dad never told me that. Ah. Uh, you need a pretty girl up there then. There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Excellent work. <laughs> okay, she seems accepting. Oh, no need to do anything about it. Okay, good. Don't push it. No. Yeah. I think that's fair. You know your mom's calling, but also. You don't need to talk to her. You don't have to talk to her if you don't want to. Good. I don't want to. There you go, then. I've done that with family before. We did not drag you away from your boyfriend just so you could be texting him. Oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, Al, come on. I'm sorry. You've been very... Friend etiquette. Who knew he's been taking me out on a date? Like, every day. That's good. That's a lot of dates. Yeah, but... He's trying really hard, and I'm not sure why. Because you're about to leave. Like, he's scared I'm going to abandon him if he's not a good enough boyfriend. I mean, that pretty much sums it yeah, up. Yeah, basically. It doesn't have low self-esteem, does it? Uh, yeah. About our relationship. Oh, I just don't know what to... Are we really going to spend the one evening we have with you talking about your boyfriend? <laughs> no, okay. Honestly, yeah, I would be so annoyed. Aww. What's up? Yeah, that's I'm what worried. about. She's worried I too. I love you. Aww. I love her. Love you too. This is what we call so being supportive. <laughs> okay. Are you tickling him? No. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> They're cute. Oh. What? What? What's up? Why is there a camera? Oh, we've been like trying to give some stuff away. But he was always using this when I was a little kid, so. Aww. We never really talked about his dad. I wish I'd posed. <laughs> that will be Isaac. One second. We're finally doing a movie night. Uh, no. <laughs> Fuck that. When's Charlie getting here? Um, I, I don't know. He didn't really reply to the group chat. So. Oh. So Isaac's just having a movie night with the cup, his couple friend in the third <laughs> wheel. Oh. Stop. Poor Isaac. I would just leave. I'd be like, nah, not right, the, not, no. Are you guys going to actually watch this movie oh, or not? Sorry. And also to be watching on a little laptop. Do you not think it's weird that Charlie hasn't been replying to the group chat? Oh, he's probably with Nick or something. Nick's, Nick's out of town. Yeah. Charlie. Isaac, I'm sure he's fine. Yeah, also he hates my movie choices, so I didn't want to come. We all hate your movie uh, choices. Excuse me. Then why does he get to choose? I think we're gonna have to break up actually, thank you very much. Alright? Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Isaac, what just walk out of there, leave. Yeah. Actually guys. No! Isaac, please. Don't leave. We love you. It's we all love good. You. No, we'll do this another no, time. No, yeah. This is one. not it. Five more minutes. No. Yeah, you guys fucked that up. But I was excited here. Just because you're a couple doesn't mean you have to ignore your friends. What? Which one? The one he's always reading? <laughs> Isaac. He's gonna, he's gonna be like, what the fuck? Have we, where have we been? Yeah. I mean, you're not missing much. It's just towered out all over each other. Awkward. Our friendship group is just all over the place at the minute. We've barely done anything together all summer, and um, and I'm just feeling a little bit left out, to be honest. Aww. I'm just sorry. It's fine, Charlie. It's, it's not the end of the world. I just wanted to make sure that you're okay. Isaac's so nice and so caring. I I'm just missing Nick a lot, and my mum's been really annoying, and... 
Just okay. because your boyfriend's out of town doesn't mean you need to. Don't feel like doing anything. You should find life outside of Nick, yet. though. Find joy outside of him. He can't be your whole life. Sorry. Do you want me to go? No. You can watch that MI adaptation. Oh, you know that's my favourite. <laughs> He was, he was some good friendship time. Okay, week three, last week. And he's back. Dinner time. You go and get your brother. Why do I have to get him? Yeah, why don't you? You're the. There's more chance he'll calm down if you ask. You're the mom, though. You gotta. You can't just hide from him. Dad's done a roast. It'll be absolutely flavorless, but you know he loves doing a roast. <laughs> Oh, come down now. What was that about my cooking skills? Oh. Just saying a bit more seasoning wouldn't go amiss. <laughs> Johnny, can you come help me lay the table, please? It's harsh. Real harsh. <laughs> I like the dad. You know, luck. What is it I'm looking at? Eating this sort of stuff? First of all... Ah, uh, he does. Okay, he's like, but also, who doesn't put a password on their laptop? No teenager in their right mind would ever have it just password free. Does everyone look at the same website here? Sister and boyfriend team up. Help him out. Okay, we should probably leave now because... We want to eat before the movie, and we've only got 82 minutes before it starts. Wow. Actually, I was thinking we could do something else tonight. Oh. Yeah? Like, what are we thinking? I think I know what she's thinking. But it still feels like you might, you know... Vanish and move on. Yeah. Or something. He's scared. <laughs> Rightfully so. You've lost someone in the past, and... You're scared of it's scared kind of happening of, yeah. again. So yeah, we may not be able to hang out every single day, but that doesn't mean I like you any less. Yeah. I love you. Oh. Wait. Really? No, I'm clearly joking. <laughs> I, lo I love you so much. I just thought it was too soon to say it. Maybe it is. I don't care. <laughs> it, if you feel it, you feel it. Nick and Charlie said it the night before Nick okay. left. Now these two are saying before the night before Elle leaves. Mm. Just a bit more often. Hello. It's really nice. Oh, Charlie. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Okay. Oh, Charlie. I think he's starting to realize he does actually have a problem. I don't know. I'm sort of missing good old English one. <laughs> Where exactly are they on vacation? Spain? Can you hear me okay? I can hear you. Thank God. All right. I've missed you so much. Yeah. I've missed you too. I've missed you two being together. I... It's okay. It's okay, Charlie. Charlie? It's Nick. You can trust him. Charlie, you still there? Mm-hmm. Are you... Oh, he's like, better cry. Oh, he is crying. I think you were right. Yeah, okay. First step. First step. Acknowledging it. It's okay gonna be okay you can talk to your parents you can you can get help i can't talk to i can't oh, talk to my parents he's not close to his parents like that just listen to me she gets angry at me oh can nick's aunt help as a therapist i don't know what to do you have both kids it's a lot for you to deal with what's she doing nothing are you in here texting nick we're having a family dinner I wasn't feeling very well. You see he's crying, you can tell. Well, what's Can't wrong? Can't you tell he's crying? Come on. Be a good, know. be a supportive mom here. Charlie. 
I have to go. Sorry, I love you. How does this mom not realize there's something more going on with him? Just throwing rocks, as one does when frustrated. Been getting really bad recently. I'm trying to get him to talk to me about it. Maybe talk to his Oh, I'm getting teary eyed. He says he just can't. The way he loves Charlie and cares about him is just so sweet. It's just so sad. I don't know what to do now. I can't force him to eat because then it would just make him more upset. He doesn't know. He wants help, but he doesn't know how to. I really love him. Aww. And I'm scared. Oh, come here. Ugh. Oh, darling. He needed this. A nice hug. You're a 16 year old kid. I know that's really young to deal with all of this. That is a lot to put on the shoulders of a 16 year old. Yeah. It's okay that you're scared. You're allowed to be. I, I don't know what to do. That's okay. Most people wouldn't. Maybe you can't. I have to be. You can't fix everything, though. You are each other's whole world. But that dependency isn't healthy for anyone. Yeah, I agree. You can't depend on another person to be your one person to save you, to do everything Girl for you. Boyfriend. He needs help from a doctor or a therapist. Someone that understands eating disorders I agree. and knows how to treat them. Love can't cure a mental illness. Sadly, no. So I just can't do anything. No, I didn't. Just support him. Then. Well, there's there's lots of things that you can do. You can be there for him. Yeah. Just to talk or listen. Exactly. She's blocking her mom. But also. I don't disagree. Maybe that's a good thing to do. People need more support Sometimes than one you need person to... can give. I agree with what she says there. One person, sometimes you need more than that. Sometimes you need, yep. Ugh, I love her. She's fantastic. Sorry guys, a <laughs> friend was texting me because I'm going out, going out tonight and just they were texting me about something. But yes, um, ugh. Emotional episode. Whew. So, Charlie finally admits that he believes he has an eating disorder. He's having a rough time without Nick there because Nick is his only support system, his only person that he's been leaning on for so long that he does can't stand on his own. And that's a problem, as I've been saying. And I'm happy the aunt agreed that he can't, he can't just have Nick as his savior, his superhero, by his side at all times waiting for him. That's not healthy for either of them. Both of them need to be able to have their own lives that's out of each other, have their own support, get their own help separately. They are too young to, in general, any age really, you shouldn't be someone's support system where you're the only person supporting them, the only person they can talk to. They need to have help. He needs to have a therapist. He needs to go see a doctor. And his parents do need to know. Yes, the mom doesn't seem to be the most supportive and easy woman, but she should know. And I think we can have a team here, people helping out. We could have Charlie and Nick, Charlie and his friends, Charlie and his parents, Charlie and his sister. Those are all good connections that could help him get better. And I think Nick and Charlie both need to realize that. And they can't just, like... Nick can't just be there to save him every time he needs help. He needs actually, he actually needs to fix the root problem. And it's too much on Nick's shoulders. He can't handle it. You can tell both Nick and Charlie are snapping. They're falling apart. Not being near each other. Which, I get. Young love. Gr fantastic. But to be able to, like, Charlie to not even hang out with his friends, which before Nick hung out with them all the time. Suddenly, now that he's with Nick and Nick's out of town, he's not hanging with him at all. 
and poor um, Isaac. It's just like no one wants to be around him. No one's everyone's hanging out with their couple, with their boyfriend or girlfriend, and they just aren't doing friend time anymore. And summer's about over. Summer's over, and like they've wasted it because Tal's been obsessed with being with Elle every single day, and then um, Tara and why can't I ever remember her name for the life of me? Tara and Darcy are together, living together literally this whole time. And but at least now Darcy's moved out, so that's something. Um there's just it's a lot of it is this thing. I've at this point of the show I'm really relating to Isaac more than anyone else because I've always been that friend who's been single and around all the couples. Literally what friends I'm hanging out with today, it's two couples and my other friend who's dating someone else who's not who new relationship but all through all of them are dating people. One of them is a couple married. One of them's moving in together. And then there's me, the solo single guy. And it's I feel for Isaac because it is one of those things like, oh, you're with these groups and you could see they're all like cuddly touching each other and they have all these inside things and they all go home with each other and it's all nice and it's like I come back here alone and it's hmm. And they are doing coupley things and doing double dates and you're like left out and then they feel bad and want to invite you and be the fifth wheel and it's like uh no thanks this is uncomfortable and it just makes you more sad to see everyone else happy and together with someone when you're not and for Isaac I'm assuming it's gonna probably even harder because he's asexual and aromantic like I'm not that so I don't know but I'm assuming, just assuming it's probably a little even more difficult because he's still figuring that out and trying to figure himself out while also losing his friends because they're stepping away from him and have other people they care about more. It's when you're like the bottom of the totem pole with everyone around you, it feels like shit. And I get that. With my family my whole life, I have been the bottom of the totem pole, the young kid, there are many times where I can't get a word in in the conversations around my family. It happens a lot with my friends, too. I am I don't get heard a lot of the times. I am the bottom of the totem pole because, well, my one friend, like the roommates I live with, two of them are married. They're going to care about each other more. My other roommate, she's got a boyfriend. She's going to care about him more. And they have these best friends that they've had for years. I'm like, I don't have that. I don't have friends that I've had for like a decade or two that I've had since high school. Those people I don't talk to anymore. It happens. You grow apart. But I also am not a very social person. I have very I have social anxiety that makes it hard for me to new, meet new people. So it's just it's a lot. And I really side with Isaac knowing how lonely he's probably feeling right now. And being in high school and that kind of lonely, it's even harder. So I just hope I hope his friends start paying attention to him that he maybe finds something to fill the void, whether it's a f another a new friend this school year or something else. I don't know, but I'm, I hope the best for Isaac. And of course, Charlie and Nick and everyone else, Tao and L, they're about to go through a tough time with L leaving. I don't know what that's going to mean, but we'll see soon. Um, so we'll pass the three weeks. Nick is coming back now, and we'll see how that's going to do. I wonder if we're going to keep seeing the aunt, though, because I love the aunt. And I hope it's just one episode, not just one episode, but we get her throughout the season a little bit more. And I can't wait to see Jonathan Bailey, too. We saw him on that little Instagram moment. I guess he's a celebrity, like an author or something, so... Yay. Can't wait to see him. Alright, thank you guys so much for watching with me. I hope you have enjoyed. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Don't forget to like, subscribe, check out Patreon for these unedited reactions. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.